Welcome to Rasta's Realities and the Misconception Series. Thank you for joining me. In a most recent video, the discussion involves independence and the misconception of it. An illusion, if you will. I find it odd that the very ones that tout the independent talk are the very ones having their hands out to the very people and systems that they claim that they don't need nor want. That video should be on screen right about now. This content isn't to piss off anyone, but to hit you with a serious dose of reality. Now, if you choose to be pissed off at the facts presented, that is your business and won't stop anything over here. Shout out to the Rastas Reliables. You know who you are. You know who you are. You know who you are. This edition discusses using or being used, and like the independent video, I must clear up another misconception that being used is all bad. All bad. What's meant is being taken advantage of. Now, there are those who don't mind being taken advantage of, and you know this to be true, because they seek out other beings to repeatedly get taken advantage of. On the other hand, there are those that take advantage of others, but shuns being taken advantage of themselves. A fool's errand. Every being is born to be used by something or someone. Let's start at the inception and conception event. Why do humans have relations in some babies? Well, to have relations and even intimacy, which doesn't involve the mashing of certain organs, one must be used, or in this case, two must be used. How else does the planet get populated? How does things get done in society? Male parts are used in her female parts and two people have now used each other for intimacy, pleasure, companionship, and ultimately po the population of the planet. I think I will stop the video right there with the birds and the bees talk. This is another misconception because we humans are not birds nor bees. So why are we talking about aliens and insects when it comes to discussing human sexuality? The comment section is open for the community, fence watchers, and the unsubscribed. Let's talk. Oh yeah, I was kidding about stopping the video because history dictates that humans, animals, and even the planet itself are present for use. You fill in the blanks for what they use for. So why are so many complaints regarding life's usage? Oh. You are special. You use, but don't want to be used. Now, I am aware of the feelings behind being used and how it may trigger one into dissenting. I don't blame them for that. But I do blame them for not grasping the full concept of life, liberty, and justice. <laughs> Threw that last part in there for shits and giggles. For those that know. You know. While working on this video, I came across something that was front and center the entire time online. Stay out, man. I came across that viral video of Andre 3000 mentioning being used. He said, and I quote, that he felt that he was being used, assuming he meant in a negative way. And, and then in the next sentence, he mentioned that he was happy being used for something greater. Close quote. Hmm. 
thus bringing the reason for the video. Point is that the true issue with being used lies not with the act itself. Because it has to happen. But only when it's no longer beneficial is when people seem to take notice. And then let the tirades begin. An additional example of being used is the whining and complaints about being used by a guy whom they had a child with, all while using that same child birthed with the guy that they claimed used them to acquire, or should I say, use the same child for, for, for child tax credits, housing pity, etc., and to mentally and emotionally harm the guy and the child. Both that they claimed that they loved. Yeah. On the opposite side of the spectrum is the guys who becomes disheveled after a chick uses them for what she wants and discards him like a ragged sponge. Despite the fact that we're here to be used, no one can do anything to us Unless it's allowed. It's allowed. It's allowed. It's allowed. It boils down to a massive case of sour grapes. And that's the reality. <laughs>